turn. Yeah. Keep, 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 I had put you guys into two separate cribs because you were getting big and I thought you needed some space. You were about two maybe? And one day you were in your separate cribs. I can't remember what time of the day it was, but we could hear this scratching and noise in your bedroom. And we went up to see what was going on. And Susan had jumped out of her crib climbed because Susan could climb anywhere, anytime, any place. And she was dragging the rocking chair in the room over to your crib so she could jump in the crib and be with you. She didn't want to be in her own crib. She wanted to be with you. always was the one who was put in goalie. <laughs> My brothers were always using me as um, the goalie basically, beating me up and having fun with me. But uh, the closeness I find is the same. You know, you, it's hard to break into that. Not that you want to, but it's a, uh, they've got their own special relationship and it's very obvious. The longest I haven't talked to my twin for in a fight is probably three or four days. Five days. Five days I haven't talked to my twin before and that was just, that's the farthest we've um, gone for a fight. It was pretty bad. But then with my twins, I have noticed this evolving relationship of being the really close buddies and really wanting to play with each other and be with each other and back each other up but wanting separate identities, wanting to dress differently, having special toys that were different. And then now as they're becoming teenagers and they're in like middle, middle of their teenage years, really seeing differences in them and how they're navigating boundaries and separation and space and independence. And even the school has recognized that if one's not doing as well as the other, they want them in separate classes because they want themselves oh, yeah. to be like they want to learn to be individuals mm -hmm. and to get their own friends but right now it seems like they're doing all right um sometimes i do wish i wasn't twin when it's sort of grade wise if sometimes she doesn't get the same mark as me and i'm really upset about that i feel like i always have someone to compare my marks to or someone someone to compare my like life to um competition over sports and and achieving things, competition over marks. It's like you can't stop comparing yourselves to each other even when it's not in your best interest to do so. You just can't turn that off. I just have this <laughs> I have this desire to I just want to win at whatever I try at. And since I have someone who has almost the exact same skills and ability as I do it's just that much higher in competitiveness so I'm always competing against her and when I do I just I always want to win absolutely because you guys are forced to be reckoned with and when you're together you just have this secret language that's why I try to divide you up I have asked her not to be on a sports team and um, but I ended up just Telling her no it was fine, she could be in my sports team, but I sometimes do wish because when I make a mistake I get mad at myself and if she has a good game and I don't or I have a good game and she doesn't, it's just this friction between us. And, and most important, you know, as I said, you love your parents, you love your siblings, but when it comes down to it, I, I do believe that you will always be the closest to Susan and Susan to you. I think that the up, there's tremendous upside with being a twin because you have somebody who has grown up with you from day one, who knows you, who really does care for you and who really has your back just because you've had all this experience together.